we have done a video before on this channel which shows you exactly how to go from zero all the way up to 100k now we're going to be doing a very similar thing except we're going to be going from zero all the way up to 500k at this stage of fever having 500k really sets you up for the rest of this game you can either use 500k to put into a good team where you can take it into foot champions division rivals squad battles and continuously get coins every single week or you could do what i do which is just continue to trade because you have so many coins it becomes easier and easier you'll find out that once you get your first 500k your second 500k which will take you to a mil becomes 10 times easier so in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how to hit this milestone before i do get into the video though if you do like the content that i'm delivering here then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever i next upload a video getting back into the video as said we have done a video before which shows you how to go from zero all the way to 100k if you haven't seen that video then i highly recommend that you watch that video first because we will be talking about some of the methods that have been used within that video it'll just give you a much better breakdown of everything that we're doing and why we're doing it so if you want to see that there is a link in the description down below as well as there'll be a card on screen right now which will take you directly to that video also with this video as we will be going through methods that we have covered a lot more in depth before on the channel you'll find links to every single method within the description down below so to begin with when you first start ultimate team you have absolutely nothing to begin so what you need to do is actually play a match this will give you 500 coins and after completing this match you'll be able to do some trading as you are starting out i do recommend that you start with squad battle matches because it is simply just easy when you're starting you have a starter team and you don't particularly want to be coming up into division rivals where you're most likely to be coming up to amazing teams as soon as you get your first couple hundred coins now it's time to start trading you want to be looking at a bulk bidding method with 500 coins you're not going to be able to bulk bid but you will be able to scale this up very quickly for once you do have three or four thousand coins as you will be continuously doing the same method you want to find a common gold player that sells for more than its discard value looking for a common gold anywhere between 500 to 800 coins and this is very easy to find just use these parameters on the transfer market and go across each and every player until you find a player with a bid on if it has a bid it means it's most likely got a much higher buy now when you find a suitable player simply search that player and find the lowest buy now subtract a couple hundred coins from that price and this is your maximum bid price with the coins that you have just bid on as many as possible or until you actually have 50 within your watch list once these cards expire you can list them for the minimum buy now on the transfer market which we talked about earlier it will only be a couple hundred coins per card and it doesn't sound like a huge amount but when you have 10 20 30 or even 40 cards of that type of deal you're making thousands of coins overall and this is very easy to scale up your first trade with only 500 coins will only give you one player so you're not going to be making a crazy amount from this but after you sell that player you should now have enough coins to buy two of those players and you can very easily see how this will scale up just keep on doing this until you get to 20k when you reach 20k now it's time to start looking at some bigger and more expensive trader methods this one is the position change method and it's probably one of my favorite trader methods to use within the game with this method we are simply looking at center defensive mid players that have been converted to the center mid position the cdm to center mid position modifier goes for around 3000 coins which is really expensive when you consider the price for most center defensive mid players that we'll be looking at is only round about 700 coins to a thousand coins with this method we're taking advantage of other players mistakes many players put together a team they buy a center defensive mid and realize they bought a cdm for a center mid position this is when they apply a cdm to center mid position modifier and get more chemistry for their team once that player has completed what they wanted to do whether it be division rivals foot champions squad battles or even friendlies no matter what it is that player will eventually want to sell their team and list that center mid player for the original value that they bought them for and not the new value because they added a very expensive position modifier to them we're then able to buy that player for around 1000 coins and list them for 3000 or even 4000 coins you can easily do this method using footwiz setting up these parameters you want to set the quality to rare gold position center defensive mid and look at the five most popular leagues being premier league Serie A, league 1 bundesliga and la liga you just go through the list of players names search on the transfer market with the positioning of center mid buy the ones that are extremely undervalued compared to the rest of the market 
and add the ones with low bids to your watch list which you can bid on later. This method will take you from your measly 20k all the way to 100k plus and it can do it very very quickly. So far what we've covered has been talked about before. This was part of the previous video where we went from 0 to 100k but we went over it very very quickly. Now it's time to take that 100k all the way up to 500k and there is only one method that works for me every single time. And this is the 123 method. With this method it's more about a searching parameter on the transfer market to find good deals. You set the minimum bid to 10,000 coins, maximum bid 20,000 coins and minimum buy now 30,000 coins. Hence why it's 123. The search will show you players between 10 to 20k for a bid but has a much higher buy now being 30k plus. This tends to be players that have listed other cards on the market a few times but didn't get the price that they were looking for which then leads to them being frustrated and just list it as a minimum bid just so they have a guarantee sell at the end of that hour even if it does mean that they're getting considerably less coins. And yet again we will be taking advantage of this. I recommend looking at the special cards rather than the gold rare players and what you want to look out for when going across each card is if it has a bid on if it has a bid on again it means it's most likely got a much higher buy now simply add the players you think will be good deals to your watch list and then search that player up on the transfer market to buy the cheapest buy now then go back to your watch list and bid on that player accordingly with this specific method, I always look to make about 1,000 coins after EA tax on each player. This is good because it does mean that you only need 100 players to make 100k. And it might sound like a lot, but it really isn't. You can easily go for 100 players and trade with those players very, very quickly. The more time you have, the better. But even in my situation where I'm playing on this account, I'm only playing a couple hours per week. And this is mainly to record videos. If you do this method, the center defensive mid to center mid position change method and the bulk bidding method, you can have a constant stream of coins flooding into your account, making tens of thousands of coins every single hour without having to put a crazy amount of time into the game. The bulk bidding method takes just a couple minutes to find a player, bid on as many as possible. The center defensive mid to center mid method takes a bit longer, but after going through all of this, you should be able to double, triple, or even quadruple your coins dependent on the deals that you get. And then with the 1 2 3 method, it takes even longer, but it does mean that you'll be getting a thousand coins per player. Now, not everything that you get from all three of these methods will sell within the first hour. It might take a couple times of relisting, but you will be making profit out of this and you will be getting constant coins coming into your account. And these are the three main methods that I'm using for the Foot Fanatic account all the way up to 500k. And we did it relatively quickly for the amount of time that I've spent on this account. Chances are you are not just trading, but you're also playing games, building teams, going through squad battles, going through SBCs. And all of this will give you even more coins, so you should be able to do it even quicker. One of the biggest things that I recommend you do outside of trading is the bronze pack method. This method is you simply opening 400 coin or 750 coin bronze packs to go and get some players, store the ones that don't sell in your club and list the ones that do sell on the transfer market. Because you're putting up a very little amount of coins, the chance of you making profit on that pack is very high, especially the fact that so many of those bronze players are used for SBCs. This is not going to make you a crazy amount of coins in this area of just selling bronze players but you should be making profit on the bronze packs that you do open. The real profit comes in with the players that you store to your club. All the bronze players that don't sell get sent to your club. And a lot of players just do this, leave them there and forget about them. But what you want to do is actually use them for SBCs or just save them there for when an SBC does come out when you can go and sell that player on for profit. And what I tend to do is actually use it more for SBCs because I do enjoy opening packs. So what I end up doing is using the bronze players to go for the silver upgrade pack, eventually get silver players. Those silver players are then used for a gold upgrade pack where I can get common gold players. And then those common gold players are used for a rare upgrade, which is where I get a rare two player pack. And then those two rare players, even though they're untradeable, I can either use for my team or I can go and put them through future SBCs, most likely marquee matchups. And this is where you can make an insane amount of coins because now you're able to complete marquee matchups for insanely cheap or in some cases, especially if you have a lot of players and you do this for a long time, you can actually complete them for free. So any profit you get from marquee matchups is just straight profit. And this is everything that I've done for this account. It has managed to get me from 0 to 500k, which you're seeing in the clips, but it's actually so much more than that. 
we're actually at 900,000 coins in just only five weeks of me only just playing a couple hours per week, which is a crazy amount. It's simply because you have your coins working for you. Your first 500k is the hardest 500k you're going to earn. But once you do finally hit it, your second 500k becomes 10 times easier because you can use the 500k that you've already got to earn even more coins. And it's exactly what's happened here as we are now approaching 1 million coins. But anyway, guys, this is exactly how I went from 0 to 500k very, very quickly. If you do want some more information about the methods that I've talked about in this video, there are more in-depth videos here on the channel. Links to absolutely everything can be found in the description down below. If you still have questions, then feel free to leave a question in the comment section down below as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.